What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I'm out here in uh, California. I'm going to tell you, bro. There's so many different locations, so many different spots. It's super dreamy. Here, let me give you a little bit of a preview of what I'm looking at and what I was driving towards prior to arriving at my destination. You see the clouds? all over the mountains it's incredible it's pretty awesome it's a very 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 beautiful and dreamy place would i live here maybe not in this location specifically but i wouldn't mind having a little spot that i airbnb out out here in california I don't know, maybe we'll have that conversation in the Patreon. If you're not a part of the Patreon, make sure you tap in. The link is in the description. We're doing some awesome things in there. Rocking out with my family, my crew, my friends, everybody. Absolutely awesome. In addition to that, if you want to kick it with me personally, make sure you tap in AntonDaniels.com. You can send me an email straight from there by clicking the email link. Or you can just email me at AntonDaniels413 at gmail.com and we're going to get you popping. What's going on, my friend? How you feel? Chilling, chilling, man. Just out here kicking it, having a good time, talking to the people right here. Chilling, chilling, bro. Antoine, bro, I watch yeah. your YouTube channel. Again. Thank you, my yeah, friend. You know, I appreciate that, bro. Minutes. Just kicking it, re recording. I've never seen this area. All is, of this, yeah. It's amazing, dude. I live like right around the corner. Do you really? Yeah, I hike through these mountains all the time, dude. It's you don't worry about no no crazy no 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 i don't <laughs> it's, it's it's super nice dude this is the best like way to get your mind off of things just i'm wondering if i'm built for the for being out in this type of environment because i'm a city guy where, where you at where you where you live well i'm in michigan in michigan and okay. then for the winter we go down to miami but i'm i'm a city guy like i i gotta have like noise around yeah, me and stuff yeah, like that yeah. you know what i'm saying I don't know, man. Yeah, this kind of country look, I mean, not as country, but it's definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. out away from the city. So, yeah, man, everything's so spread out, too. So you got to drive a long time. Yeah, and that's, a, that's another thing that I've been noticing in California is that everybody got to drive a lot, bro. Yeah, everybody got to drive. Everything is at least 40 minutes away. But, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's an awesome place. Um, I love visiting out here. I'm not sure if I can live out here is this is california a place that y'all can live in taxes a lot of the different policies i'm not sure and then you know honestly i think about that and everything that i do because it's easy for me to just be like yeah i would live out here or all oh, this place is beautiful but when you really start getting out to some of these places it's a little bit different you know what i'm saying and that's the question that i want to ask you guys is that do you think about things long term or are you just basing what you see or your decisions based off of what you see and what you're dealing with at the moment that's how a lot of y'all getting food in these relationships that's why y'all keep rocking out with these chicks that look good on the outside but they empty on the inside you ain't got no long-term vision you ain't got no insight you're not looking at the 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 conversations a little bit differently than i would look at the conversations i read body language i pay attention to the intangibles i look at the mountains and i say you know what that looked beautiful from a distance but when you drive up close to it what does that translate into is it something that you're gonna run into out there and you're gonna get stranded and it ain't gonna be no way back is every man for themselves? look look at this look at this crap it's it's incredible and i bet you the people that live here the people that live here i guarantee you they don't even appreciate it look at all of that up there but listen listen here's the biggest thing that i want you guys to take away from um, this conversation today because i don't want this to just be one way this is what i want you to take away from it you got to get out you got to travel you can't take things for granted you got to go and see things and visit places that you've never visited before listen forget about la forget about new york forget about miami um forget about vegas forget about uh houston all of those different places and go and visit the places that's fly into the airports and then jump in a car and then go somewhere different forget all of that listen 
I would say that the majority of my traveling, and these are the things that you don't even see, right? The majority of my traveling, I would say, is probably off, off the grid as far as places that you guys are not familiar with. I go to the Milwaukee's, I go to the Ohio's, I'm going up to Upper Michigan, Traverse City. Um, we're going to be traversing through Canada probably this summer. I got the Patreon meetup. That's probably going to be on the East Coast because it's weather permitting and I want to make sure that I do my Patreon meetups on the, on, the, uh, on the East Coast and the Midwest. But forget the Chicago's, forget all of that. And listen, bypass Chicago and go and visit Milwaukee. Go and check out Green Bay. Go and check out all of these different places and every place has something unique about it that you would love and you would like and you would absolutely enjoy. Go and do different things that you've never, forget, the, it's not even just about the traveling, it's about your life. Go try something new, start a business, right? And not, not just start a business, but start and do something that you would absolutely love to do and then translate that into a business from being a hobby. Look at everything from a business perspective. Go and learn a new skill. Go do some coding. Go meet some people that you've never met before. Say yes to everything. Learn to say yes. Or I'll do you one better. Learn to ask the question of how can I do it versus why can't I do it? Very rarely do anybody ask me to do something and I say absolutely not. Unless it's something, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But very rarely do I do that because I want to see and try and do pretty much everything. I don't want my life to be the sum total of living in one city and then I don't know anything outside of my neighborhood and then all of my conversations is based off of that limited experience. I want everything to be, you know, I'm, <laughs> I went and visited Oklahoma City under dire circumstances or under a difficult situation, but I went and visited Oklahoma City and that place is awesome. I'm going to I'm going to skip right past Dallas and I'm going to go over to to San Antonio. Is it time? All right, here I come. Listen guys, I got to go. I just wanted to tap in with you for a minute, show you a little bit of what I'm looking at. I'm about to go in here. Um, presentation time, time to go and make the money and don't let the money make you like Diamond from the Players Club. Is that what she said? I don't know. Listen, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Um, I'm always documenting the journey, and that's why I started this channel in the first place. We're still going to maintain uh, living like that and being true to ourselves and making sure that we capture every single thing that we do and uh, give you my thoughts while I'm doing it. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.